That's, yeah. That's a freaking unit, huh? What is going on, guys? So, from that intro and the title and the thumbnail, we picked up two cars and uh, things are about to get a little crazy. We are working on a new business and we is myself and my friend John, Freedom Parts Outlet. Check out the Facebook link in the description. I will explain this a little bit more, but let's go hop in and see the two latest purchases and uh, make sure you go check out the Facebook link down in the description. Help support the new business and I'm very excited to hopefully launch another uh, business and uh, hopefully it will work out. So uh, definitely go check it out and let's hop into the video. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Damn. Hey, it's got a good deck lid. We're good. That's a hundred bucks right there. Smashes the Camry right into it. <laughs> what the heck did I get myself into? And that's the good side. All right, so by now you're probably wondering what the heck are we doing with a smashed and burnt up 2020 Mustang GT? So my friend John actually uh, does uh, something similar with uh, the GM market, LSs, and buying different cars. I said, I wanna go ahead and get in on that uh, with some Ford stuff. Um, we went ahead and took a gamble on this burnt smashed 2020 Mustang GT A10. Figured uh, if we can get it cheap enough, we can part it out and uh, hopefully make a little bit of money back and kind of uh, get our feet wet in the market and try to start off our business. Uh, so we did pick up this 2020 Mustang GT. It is absolutely smashed, thing looks terrible. However, um, it does have an engine and trans, it does have a good rear end, um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull it apart. Huge thanks to my friend Bobby, uh, Stupid Fast Racing, He's the one who has the 18, uh, 19 um, Mustang single turbo manual car. Um, he also has his wife's car, Amber. Uh, she has a Whipple A10 uh, GT car, and uh, they also have a shop out in Ocala where they do performance work. He helped me out and picked this up. If you guys are looking for some different performance work, definitely hit those guys up. Um, they have a really nice shop out there, and uh, there's not a lot of performance shops out in Ocala. So Bobby did go ahead and help us pick this up with his trailer. He also helped me disassemble it. So he huge thanks to him. Let's go ahead and disassemble this car and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. Straight in through it. Wow, that car. Getting ready to it now? Yep. Yeah, the, I mean, the frame might be a little tweaked, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It'll buff out. It'll buff, huh? All right. So, here's the old unit. Um, yeah, we just got to plop that drive shaft around the exhaust. Solid roller right here, boys. Yeah, if anyone wants to, uh, it, it just might need a little tube chassis, you know, it, it just, just to be a little safe. Bit. Yeah, she'll buff. Well, that about wraps it up. It smells awful of fuel in here. The tank still had some gas. Got some parts. Anyone needs an IRS? Let me know. Uh, we got obviously a Gen 3 10 R80 uh, core motor right here. This side head's looking pretty good. 10 R80 is probably a pretty good buildable core. Um, we'll see what the short block looks like. Hopefully, it's uh, it's good. Should be. Everything look clean. Clean, fill it, clean fluids coming out of them. Oh yeah, yeah. So we got that, that, and then uh, I got some odds and end parts over here. Let's see a deck lid, a tranny cooler, a uh, rear crash bar, um, some fuel rails, DI fuel rails. Unfortunately, the DI injectors were not good. Um, got some rear bumper sensors and some odds and ends. 
fuel pump hat assembly, and that's about it. Two valve and a AOD. Yeah. 150 bucks. 150 bucks. Man, we got drivetrains on deck, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Cobra Jet. I'm gonna iris swap the uh, new edge. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, so that is the last I saw of the 2020 Mustang GT. Bobby actually went ahead and scrapped the shell. We got a certificate uh, title of destruction, and we will never see that shell again. There wasn't much left of it. The interior uh, burned. It looks like the uh, DI pump, uh, one of the lines uh, burst. The windshield was broken, and I think fuel shot up and into the interior of the car causing a major uh, fire there and then there was a fire on the passenger side valve cover area um, but looks like the short block is good our friend jake actually went ahead and picked up the short block uh, we sold it as a rebuildable core but it looks like everything's going to be good to go there the heads uh, are going to be a core that we are going to sell and then clean them up a little bit but uh, they should be uh, definitely uh, gone through and uh, probably a good set to port um, especially for someone going uh, ported heads you know maybe a shaved uh, you know head um, with some cams some valves you know something like a max effort gen 3 set up these would be the perfect heads for you um, if you want to go pick those up or if you want to work something out with Jordan modular head shop um, if you want those cores I can bring those over to him and if you want to do one of his head uh, cam uh, valve uh, combo on a gen 3 I can do that too just definitely hit us up Facebook down below uh, we will be having a website as well uh, freedompartsoutlet.com not quite ready yet but the 2020 Mustang GT that was definitely a really bad car and to the untrained eye that thing looks like a pile of junk, but there's actually a bunch of good parts that we pulled out of it. If you guys need any of those parts, definitely let us know down in the description. Uh, we will have the part out link for that. Now, let's go check out the other car, which is actually a really cool car, and it sucks that we gotta take it apart. Um, it actually has no 304 Cobra short block in it uh, with manly rods and pistons, um, but, uh, it supposedly there's something wrong with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and investigate that D1 SC Pro Charger Let's go ahead and roll the clip. All right guys. So uh, you guys saw the 2020 Mustang GT that car came apart uh, We actually got the short block sold already. We got the trans sold as well um, So there is still an IRS and there's some various different parts uh, some heads gen 3 heads uh, That we do still need to sell off the car, but I also bought another car. I bought uh, this car right here um, so free and Parts Outlet LLC, that's what we're uh, calling uh, this new company, me and my friend John Broussard. Uh, we're going to be picking up uh, various different cars and uh, stocking some drivetrains, you know, some co-part stuff and uh, yeah, so right here uh, we picked up this car. Um, there's something wrong with the bottom end. Uh, as I was told, it may not be, maybe, who knows, has a D1SC Pro Charger on it. It's got some ported heads, got some Todd Warren cams. Um, it's got some cool parts on it. So we did go ahead and pick this car up the other day. I've already started stripping it. It's got a fuel system, I think, uh, that's gonna go out to Trevor. Uh, I think it's already spoken for. Injector's already spoken for, so. Overall, this is a pretty cool car. It's got an 0304 Cobra bumper, uh, really nice uh, hood. I pulled the bumper off to get the intercooler out. Um, it is four valve swapped. It does have a Steeda wing, and this is, I think, the only thing I'm gonna take off of it um, and put it on the drift car. Um, it's got an 01 Cobra bumper, and it's got Raxium taillights. We're gonna be selling those. Um, it's got a bunch of different parts. It's got Mac, uh, four valve long tubes with a X pipe, which are getting really, really hard to find. Um, so this is a pretty cool car. You know, we got uh, a lot of stuff in the interior. The interior is pretty clean. Uh, besides the driver's seat, pretty common. 118,000 miles on the shell. And of course, we have a 4.6 four valve. So we are going to be uh, tearing this apart and possibly rebuilding it and selling it as a complete long block. Um, or if the bottom end is too far gone, uh, then we'll just sell the head separately. So if you guys are interested in any of the parts on this car, I will have a big list up. It has a TKO 600, has a, a Clutch Masters clutch. I'm not positive, haven't pulled it out yet. Um, but as soon as the bullet is done, which we're actually making some progress here, you guys will see this in the next video, but this is the third new engine and uh, we're gonna be getting this uh, slapped together. 
This is the old one. Um, I will be selling the PI heads and cans off of it because it is still good. If you guys need any of that stuff, let me know. But yeah, we got a, it sucks to take apart like a cool car like this. It's not a real Cobra, um, but uh, it just doesn't make sense. The car's not worth nearly as much as the parts are. Uh, so we just gotta gotta part it out. But if you guys are interested in the roller, it's got a tubular K member. It's got strange uh, shocks in the rear, upper and lower control arms. It's got a lot of really cool stuff. I'd like to sell uh, the car as a roller. There is no rust in it at all. And uh, it's really it's just, it's a clean car. The paint's pretty good. And uh, if you guys are interested in the roller, let me know. Um, it's probably gonna be somewhere in the three to four grand range, depending on what's included. You know, if it has the hood and the bumper and uh, I'm the spoilers spoken for. I'm taking the spoiler. It's going on that one. Don't even ask. Um, but everything else complete interior everything um, probably about four grand for a roller with a tubular K member tubular A arms um, and that stuff fuel systems already spoken for so if you guys are interested in picking this up let me know uh, we do have the pro charger kit off of it D1SC a pro charger if you guys are interested in picking that up it's for a four valve um, I could also throw in the eight rib kit um, that it has on it so it has the eight rib AC power steering uh, water pump all that stuff so then from the gen 3 coyote car we have a set of heads right here if you guys are interested in some gen 3 head cores let me know these would definitely be a good candidate for some porting and some rebuilding and doing some serious work um, let's say you have a a10 gen 3 car and you want to go full crazy these would be good heads to have it done up ported cnc and then you could swap them on with no downtime uh, we also have the cams as well, a deck lid, a rear bumper support, a timing cover, fuel pump assembly, and some other odds and ends I'll just kind of list down on the uh, Facebook page. There is the uh, 0304 Cobra bumper that came with it. So we will be having much more cars coming in and uh, if you guys want to check it out, um, let me know if you want any other parts on this. I'm gonna have a link to the full part out uh, post down in the description as well as the 2020 Mustang GT that we picked up um, as well. Freedom Parts Outlet. I have big plans with my friend John. Uh, we're looking for a, another location as well. Um, you know, the idea is to have just pallets, uh, pallet rack, you know, have drivetrains ready to go. So Coyotes, 6R80s, 10R80s, you know, possibly some Hellcat motors, some LS stuff. Uh, really just have some crazy inventory that, you know, if you want to do a crazy swap, we got an engine drivetrain and a bunch of cool performance parts or stock parts um, that you will need. So uh, do let me know uh, ASAP if you want to pick up this car. It's rust free, um, really clean car, 118,000 miles. There's one accident um, back in 2016, less than $1,000 showed on the Carfax. But yeah, if you guys want to pick up this car, let me know. Um, I'll be selling the race cars, the leans, um, you know, unless uh, someone hits me up right away. Uh, wants to pick up the rust-free uh, roller as complete as possible, let me know ASAP and uh, we'll get it going. D1SC Pro Charger. So this whole company is kind of a secondary uh, business that I want to get rolling um, as everything else has been really complicated and uh, hard to do. Uh, I want to get something else rolling and another business going and I think this is really good. I've had good luck selling parts before so we're going to go ahead and start rolling with that, especially uh, after I had some bad experiences with working on customer cars and everything else like that. So make sure you slap the like button down below, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Check out the Freedom Parts Outlet Facebook page. Also enter the bullet giveaway. This car uh, should be up and running hopefully tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the next one.